Alrighty, so I had some questions on my fuel system setup from doing my Edelbrock Pro Flow 4 um, EFI install on my 1971 Ford Maverick. So if you haven't seen my other videos, I did install the Edelbrock Pro Flow 4 kit on my um, 302. Works great. I love it. And I did have some questions on the uh how i set up the f the fuel system so this is the kit i used and this is a 3604 it's a part number part number from edelbrock and i was going to piece everything together just because it, you know what you really need is um the electric fuel pump the fuel filters the regulator the hose all that stuff but the kit already had everything in it it had the hose that you needed it had the uh, fuel injection hose it had the return line hose and when i was trying to find actually i was trying to figure out what filter to use for the fuel injection that's where i ran into some trouble and i decided you know what i'm just gonna get the kit um and save myself the hassle so in the kit obviously all the parts are installed already but these are this is what's left over everything was in its own individual box so here you have the fuel pump and that's the part number for it there i'll link the kit um in the uh description so you guys can look at it so this is the fuel pump and it was just in here by itself then we got two filters same part number for both three three four eight two and the reason you need two is that you need a pre um essentially you need a filter before the pump and one after you also have you get all the a and fittings you really need so these three are plugs you know you got some o-rings in there and then this is the one that i had left over you get like 290s uh, 45 i believe um the straight one and i'm trying to remember what else i believe you get like a, a barbed hose one uh like a double-ended one but I'll, I'll go through the kit so you, so you can see here are their instructions and there's uh two different kinds but this is what it shows you you know you get, those are the fittings that they supply you with that go into the regulator and i'll show it to you on on the car itself uh here is also the regulator that's the part number so if you do want to kit you know everything yourself um you can just go ahead and use these part numbers um individually and the only thing you will have to supply apart from here is the fuel injection hose clamps your hose and um and what was the last thing the hose the clamps and i'll probably remember as i continue but i think that's it and um and yeah so essentially this is how i have it set up and yes i'm sure i'm gonna get someone to say it yes i still do have the drums on here have not swapped over to disc brakes yet but i will soon so essentially here is let's see this is horrible all right so right here is my factory level sending unit in my fuel tank. Now your pump has to be, if not at the lowest point of the tank, possibly below because it's pulling at this point. So from this point, it's essentially pulling. And here's my pre-filter. There's my pre-filter goes to my pump it loops around here's my filter after the pump wraps around comes up right here and I had to cut the factory line and I used a high pressure com uh, compression fitting I was a little iffy on using it but I needed this end of the line because I had that flared end and I just wasn't sure if using the just the cutoff end would uh, be efficient, um, but it worked great. I mean, um, I'm not sure if the the black coating is to identify that it's high pressure, but it did come in with that black coating on it. Um, and then this line was three eighths, so here's the fuel injection hose, and you know use it all the way around. Make sure you use the fuel injection clamps, which are that style. Um, 
But yeah, so essentially the line used to, it used to go, here's the piece I cut off. Let me see if I can figure out which way it went. It might have gone something like this. And then this end was at the other end of the piece. And then there was a very small, a short piece of hose that just went to the center. Because obviously with the mechanical fuel pump, it would just pull, pull the fuel. fuel. Um, but yeah, so I just got a, I did replace my tank. It's a new tank, had to bend this here to, uh, to, to clear it. Um, I, I, I'm not, I wasn't too worried about heat, but I decided to wrap my exhaust here. Uh, just because you know it's really really close to the to the hose and then the level sending unit and the uh, connector here, but you know I I doubt it would get that hot you know at the very end here. Uh, but yeah, that was just precautionary. Um, and uh, yeah, so I replaced the tank while I was at it. Replaced the sender, um, so just three eight holes on the end of the sender, like I said, and then down to the first filter which I clamped on then my pump and I mounted everything to that bracket there and then post filter then comes to here high compression 3 8 fitting and I use the rest of the factory line which just works its way down now there is one point in the car somewhere here where it does have so the line does travel down. And there was one section where there was a, a small piece of hose and I didn't catch it when I was doing the install the first time. So it did leak on me on my first try, um, but just swapped that little section out with a uh, fuel injection hose and it worked out great. So from the line, which ends up being right there, comes up and you have your uh, fuel pressure regulator. Now the way it works is you have an inlet, you have an outlet, and then you have a return. So in my case on this one, that's the part number you see there, uh, model number I should say. Um, so my inlet is on this end, the outlet is here, and my return line is on the bottom. So my return line, I ran, and uh, these actually all have the, the AN fittings that were supplied. I didn't have to buy any of them, I just made them work with with what I had, so that's why you see a little bit of looping here, but uh, return line goes down here, through the back of the firewall, and ends up right here. And if you had a charcoal canister, this that's where this, lot, uh, this return line will go to. What I did is I just ran it to this line that the charcoal canister used to go to and that line runs to the back of the uh, through through to the back of the car and let me walk over here it goes all the way to the back of the car and what I did oh, I can't even see I should take this wheel off and what it does is all I did was if you see that barbed fitting there, the line runs underneath the car. It gets to a point where it become, you know, it's adapted to a hose. And all I did was drill a hole in my tank. I threaded it with the same size um, um, fitting that I had. It's called, um, I forget what it's called. Um, I'll add the name in, but I forget at the moment what it's called threaded it right into the tank. Um, material was thick enough to where it caught thread. RTV'd it um, to make sure it didn't leak. And that's essentially, that's now your return line. So, so that's how I did that. It worked out great. I mean, I didn't have, haven't had any issues. It's been running fine. Um, and as far as the outlet portion of the regulator, it goes into this gauge that I, it's not included with the kit, but I went ahead and put it in just so I can physically see it. Um, the kit does come with a tablet so that you can monitor everything electronically from what the ECU reads, but I did want a um, mechanical gauge. So then from there, it goes right into your fuel rail. Now, originally the kit, the, um, the fuel rail in the Edelbrock Pro Flow 4 kit 
this fitting with the um, pressure sensor, um, yeah, the fuel, fuel pressure sensor was on this side here with this cap and this cap was on this side. So all I did was swap them because you can interchange it with the front to back um, and just put the crossover line in the front if you wanted to, if you had your fuel coming in from the back. Uh, in my case, it just worked out better that I just put it on this front uh, left side. And yeah, so like I said, you know, the supplied fittings, there's that one right there. And, you know, plumbed it up, made sure everything was nice and tight. You gotta make sure those, those AN fittings are clean when you thread them in so they seal properly. Only leak I had was actually, uh, besides on, under the car where there was a small section of hose, uh, but it was actually, I didn't tighten this uh, mechanical gauge up enough right in there let me see i just there was a few more threads showing and it was leaking but um but yeah it's all good now and that's essentially my setup um if you don't have a existing like charcoal canister you know vent tube line uh whatever whatever it is um you're gonna have to run your own line from the return on the regulator you're gonna have to run a line from there back into your tank so if you don't have a you know some port you know for a return system you know like I said I all I did on mine was I drilled it and I went ahead and tapped it and then threaded in the bulkhead fitting is what it's called it's a bulkhead fitting um, so I went with 3 8 and that's the size I used um, and yeah it worked out pretty well and the only thing you got to play with is you adjust your uh, the regulator when I first tried to start up the car um, you know my, the actual first start it wouldn't it would crank and it wanted to start but it wasn't starting it couldn't figure out what it was and uh, so I just decided to just crank up my fuel pressure because I was at about uh, maybe what 40 mark it was marking 40 on there and just cranked it up to like 60 and uh, it started up and that's when I just kind of started setting my parameters and I haven't moved it since so I'm guessing that that's where it needed to be but yeah so that's essentially my fuel system for um, for the EFI kit from Edelbrock the Pro Flow 4 um, yeah so I hope that answers anybody's questions on that and if you do have any more questions or you know something in particular that you're missing that you know you may need whatever it is uh, just go ahead and um, comment down below um, what your question is um, if there's something else you guys want to see uh, let's see what else that's about it um, if you already have hose or if you can get hose for cheap somewhere that you know about whatever the case is I definitely recommend um, kitting it yourself if you can if you're not good with uh, you know like AN fittings and hose sizes and whatnot um, then I would say go with the kit but if you're pretty knowledgeable you know enough to just do it on your own you know go ahead and follow these part numbers if if it's a return style system and it's essentially this kit these are an-6 fittings um, and that's just what worked with the fuel pressure regulator and um, and the 3 8 hose that they supplied uh, I'm trying to think what else um, I want to say that's it you know um but yeah like i said if you have any questions comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time